Today I have a few chores to do in the garden, but the first thing that I'm going to do is repot some uh, Ripsalis, which is right over here. They are two different kinds, but I'm going to put them together in uh, one pot. This one is a uh, Ripsalis seria scula, and also known as a coral cactus, but it is a little bit anemic looking, so hopefully I can get it in some better dirt, or I will get it in some better dirt, and hopefully it will look a little bit healthier after it's been in a nice environment for a while. This cactus is native to South America and it is considered an epiphytic cactus, uh, meaning that it can grow on trees. Now, it doesn't look like your standard cactus, but it is in the cactus family. And it likes filtered to part sun, uh, meaning it likes the morning sun and keep it out of the hot afternoon sun and it needs regular watering as it is not drought tolerant. This cactus is called Ripsalis teres heteroclata and it is also an epiphytic cactus native to South America and I believe specifically Brazil. This cactus has the same needs as the coral cactus. All right, I have decided to give this plant its own pot as I think this plant is going to get pretty big and you can see in the bottom that I did drill some extra holes because I felt that there were not enough holes in the bottom of the pot. Good drainage is really important. The soil that I'm using is a palm, cactus, and citrus mix and then I'm going to be adding some perlite to this to give more aeration to the soil as it's really important for cactus and succulents. Now that my soil's all mixed, I'm ready to plant. The roots look healthy, so I am good to go. No mealy bugs or any other pests. You can see that this rip salis was pretty dry, so I will be watering it today. finished. Now I need to hang it up. All right, now for the coral cactus. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
since this plant was a little difficult to get out of the pot, I'm going to loosen up the soil around the edges of the pot and it should slide out pretty easy. This is pretty wet. Oh yeah, look at how wet that is. I'll save these pieces and put them in a little pot. All right. bit more. Okay, need to hang it up. I'm going to go ahead and pot these little pieces up and see if I have any luck. So I cleaned the pot out. Just want to make sure there are not any bugs in here. Okay, I'll keep you informed of the progress on this one. They're all hung up now and I like the way it looks. All right, now I'm on to the next garden chore. It's not cactus or succulent related, but it's a chore that I do need to take care of. If you recall, I had this calla lily planted over by another succulent area by my uh, bird bath, and I couldn't bear to throw it away because I just wanted to dig it up because the water requirements were so different. But I decided to clean up this area just a little bit and stick it in the corner for now.
looks a little better. All right, that's it for now. Check back with me next time to see what I'm up to.